Hey everyone, welcome back to the Mouse House. Last night Disney floated out and installed the massive six-story tall center barge for the upcoming Harmonious show. That and a whole bunch more on the way. This is the Disney Weekly Roundup, episode 63. Well, let's get started. While as of now there are no nighttime spectaculars showing at Disney World, they are continuing to push forward ahead with construction on Harmonious, the permanent replacement for Illuminations at Epcot. It just hit a pretty big milestone with the central barge showing up in the World Showcase Lagoon overnight. Now a couple of days ago we saw the arms for this barge go out, so I knew we'd be seeing it pretty soon, and I'm glad that it happened before I made this weekend's video because now we can talk about it. When it's ready, there will be a total of five barges in the World Showcase Lagoon, four of them being identical and the last one being a centerpiece barge, and yes, it is six stories tall. The four smaller barges have LED screens on both sides and a massive rotating arm. The large one will actually use a high-density water curtain to project on, and it will also have arms. During the daytime, these barges will act as a water fountain. Now this project has been talked about a lot with what it's doing to the World Showcase. Many people have a problem with these massive barges ruining the sight lines in the World Showcase, and others think it will be fine. Now, I do personally have to agree that I'm not a huge fan of the size of these things. To me, they just look very industrial and mechanical, which is not usually how you describe things in Disney World. They almost seem like things you might see backstage or behind the scenes of something at Disney. And then of course we need to talk about the size. You used to be able to walk around the World Showcase and see all the incredible pavilions you will soon be experiencing. That won't be a thing anymore. I also thought I should point out, from the Japan Pavilion, you get this horrific view of this six-story, industrial-looking barge with the giant show-building box of the Guardian's Coaster behind it. And I do recognize that these are planned to act as a fountain during the day, which will help to a point. There are still some potential issues here. First of all, it won't change the sight lines. You won't be able to see the rest of the World Showcase or anything like that. Then the biggest issue with the fountain is essentially maintenance. And I just first want to say, I don't want to take credit for that observation or anything. Numerous people have been talking and writing about it all over social media and stuff. So, you know, all credit goes out to the original people who noticed this. These barges will need to be maintenanced and worked on daily, and this is nothing new. The globe from Illuminations was taken back each day for maintenance, so when the harmonious barges are being worked on, the fountains will have to be turned off. And this ties into the fact that we don't even know how long these fountains are going to be operating for each day. Okay, so I know what I was just saying was a little negative about the harmonious barges, but don't let that make you think they are all bad. While I don't want the show to have a bunch of IP integration, the barges will be incredible regardless. The arms are going to be like nothing we have ever seen. The lighting setup alone will blow people away with the powerful beams of light being put into the sky. Then also the water curtain that's going to be in the central barge is going to look really, really nice at night. This is the most ambitious show Disney has ever done, and it's going to be like no other. Now yes, I still stand by not wanting it in Epcot, but the show itself is going to be great. I have no doubt that it will blow me away when I am judging it, disregarding its location. That's a topic for another day though. Now I know many of you have been asking me about when Harmonious might open because you're trying to plan your trips. Well, Disney has actually started selling corporate packages for October of 2021. Here's the thing though, they include a Harmonious viewing in that package. So this could very well mean that Disney thinks this show will not only be ready, but nighttime spectaculars in general will be back in October of 2021. They could even start a little earlier before these specific corporate packages. This is the most concrete thing we have so far, that being said, it's not official or anything, this doesn't mean Nighttime Spectaculars will 100% be back by then, but if Disney is selling corporate packages for October of 2021 and saying that there's going to be harmonious viewing, uh, it's certainly a possibility, but of course, as soon as we hear something official, I will let you all know. Over the course of just two nights, Disney installed all the flagpoles that will be in the new Epcot entrance. I think these will add some much needed height to the entrance, if that makes sense. Now as far as what will be on the flags, according to the concept art, it will be an Epcot Center logo, but most of the time, the final product turns out a bit different than the concept art anyways, uh, hence the fact that the location of the flagpoles is a little bit different, and I have a little working theory about these flags. If you look at these photos, you will see that there are 12 flagpoles. The World Showcase has 11 pavilions. So what if Disney is planning to put each country's flag on a pole and then use the last one to have the Epcot Center logo or something like that to represent Future World? Just a thought, but I think if the flags were all the same, it might look a little bit odd, so I think this makes more sense. We'll just have to see though. 
Well, that's the latest happenings in Walt Disney World. Not too much news this week. To support the show and some upcoming projects I have in the works for the channel, you can head over to our Patreon page. You will find all kinds of perks over there, such as exclusive content, your name in the credits, and much more. I also just started a brand new YouTube channel that has some relation to this one. The link is in the description, and you can learn more about it there. Uh, the Patreon supporters actually got to hear about that channel before anyone else, so if you want early access to announcements like that and exclusive updates, you can check it out. For a free way to support the show, you can subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. If you want to reach out to me for any reason, whether business or you just want to talk Disney, you can comment on this video, email me, or DM me through Instagram. Alright, let's head over to our SMK of the Day segment. Alright everyone, welcome to the SMK of the Day segment. Uh, now we are showing off some kind of Disney thing in each of these segments. We used to be opening a card from one of these sources, the Magic Kingdom uh, packs, until they announced its permanent closure. Today I am going to be showing you all this pin, and I'm not just going to show pins on here, I'm not uh, degrading pins or anything, but if I go through my entire pin collection, we'll only be looking at pins for a very long time, but this pin was actually given to me by my good friend Carson uh, very recently, actually. He ordered one of these, I believe, and I think they sent him two or something, or somehow he ended up with two of them, and he thought I would like it, which I, v I very appreciate it, Carson. In fact, Carson also wrote a big document of a Disney Investors Day that happened, kind of summarizing it, which he let me share with you all. And he also gave us these um, nice, like, photography postcards, I believe, um, that he came from, like, a monthly magazine he gets. So he's given a lot to the show, you know. I think uh, at some point we need to do something for Carson in the future. So if you're watching this, Carson, uh, something's coming at some point, don't worry, because... You have been very, very kind, and I do appreciate stuff like this. Um, this Tomorrowland pin is actually kind of from the film called Tomorrowland. You know, I feel like that thing really faded into obscurity. Not many people know about this. I'm pretty sure I saw it in the theater, and I thought it was... You know, I didn't think it was amazing, but I did enjoy it more than most people. Most people seem to, for some reason, dislike it quite a bit, but I don't know. Um, thank you, Carson, for giving us this pin and uh, providing for another... SMK of the day segment, you know, eventually at some point I'm gonna run out of stuff So the fact that uh, you gave this to me is really really kind and I appreciate it and this will be going in my pin collection Alongside some others. All right, let's fade to the logo for some updates Well, I thought I would take today's pre-credits talk to talk about uh, my new YouTube channel TMH reacts on the channel We're gonna be reacting to all kinds of stuff like new Trailers that have some sort of correlation to Disney, new international rides that I'm not going to really experience for a while, and maybe new shows, and just stuff like that. So that's going to be me watching stuff for the first time alongside you all and kind of giving some commentary on it. And don't worry, it's not going to subtract from this channel at all. It's completely in addition to it. So the content on here will stay the same. And the reason I made it a new channel instead of posting it on this one is because for anyone who doesn't like that style of video, I don't want them to have like their subscription feed if they're subscribed to this channel uh, just like filled with reaction videos and stuff like that so if that sounds like something you're interested in the link for it will be in the description uh, and checking it out would really mean a lot the channel is just very experimental right now so in the early stages of it there's just going to be a lot of changes uh, until we figure out a format that we like and hopefully we will come across that pretty soon part five of creating my dream youtube studio should be out very very soon the editing is pretty much all done, it's wrapped up, I'm just going to do a final review of it to make sure everything's good, and that should be going out either this week or next week, so stay tuned for that, uh, I think you all are going to enjoy it. That is going to about wrap it up for today's video, as always, thank you all so much for the support on the videos, it really means a lot, and thank you for just supporting everything I do, like, with this new channel, uh, some of you have already checked it out, which is, you know, I haven't even posted a video on this channel since I've announced that teaser, so the fact that some of you are already checking that out is just crazy. Uh, so thank you all so much for supporting what I do, also supporting me trying new things, like this reaction channel, stuff like that really means a lot to me. But yeah, that is episode 63 of the Disney Weekly Roundup. We're hitting some crazy numbers here, y'all. The fact that uh, 63 of these have been made is just crazy, you know? If you go back and watch the first one, which I don't recommend, you can really see how much uh, the show has grown since then, and that's largely due to you all and your support. So it really, really means the world. But that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.